frozen, Suits cast spotted in LA for party without Megan to toast the drama hit record in Netflix. Although Megan might not be acting anymore, she's still appearing on screen as the movie Suits is on air on Netflix. Suits cast recently is snubbing Megan as they're celebrating their win. Nielsen's weekly streaming rankings show the legal drama found itself in the top spot recently thanks to a huge volume of TV fans watching the show between the period of 19th to the 25th of June. During this time, which marked the first week that the show was available in its entirety on Netflix, Suits was watched for 2.3 billion minutes, which marked the first full week that the series has been available on Netflix. This is the first time in nearly four months that a title has crossed the 2 billion minute mark on the Nielsen streaming top 10. Megan joined the cast of the show when it first began back in 2011, and appeared as a regular up until 2018 when she departed. Megan didn't reprise her role for season 8 or the final ninth season as the star left her acting career behind after meeting and falling in love with Prince Harry. Now her co-stars in Suits were holding a celebratory party where they reunited once again. Meghan Markle's former Suits castmates have been having a ball this week as the Suits hit the record on streaming platform. The whole cast got together at a restaurant in Beverly Hills to toast their film, and Adams, who plays her on-screen love interest Mike, shared an adorable shot of it on Instagram captioning it, Blast Supper, hashtag Suits. No one has seen Megan in the photo, this is the third time in a month that Megan has not been invited to the party. Did the co-stars stop contacting her after the drama ended? Gina Torres, Sarah Rafferty and Rick Hoffman, who were in the photo, went on today earlier in the day to talk about their memories during filming Suits. We were with each other longer than we went to college or high school with our friends, so we became family in a way, Rafferty said. We're still family, so this is a wonderful family affair. It's not surprising that Meghan Markle is isolated in the Hollywood world. The actors in the Suits movie claim to be not so popular actors, but they have self-respect and dignity, unlike Meghan Markle. This explains why she was being written out of a ship. Her acting is awful. And yet she had the audacity to put out a puff piece recently, saying that she could have been nominated for an Emmy when she was on Suits. Imagine Suits putting her name first before someone with real talent like Gina Torres or even Sarah Rafferty, who was loads better than Megan. But first we have to really push our minds to the limit like Neo trying to bend the spoon in the Matrix and imagine that Suits was ever in a position where the Emmys would ask them to submit possible nominees. What does Meghan Markle know about building anything as a woman? Everything in her life is on the backs of a father, ex-husband or current husband. She could have given to the scholarship fund at the Catholic school, but instead of giving money to extremely rich universities to silence freedom of speech, don't forget she was a dime a dozen cable actress in Canada until she latched and used Corey. Corey got other correct social circles to the Mulroneys and the Trudeaus. Jake Rosenberg's photographer, travel blogger and co-owner Couture magazine introduced her to Marcus Anderson and thus Soho House. Strangely, his blog writing was just like her blog, he took the best pictures of her that were ever taken, alas, as usual, used and then discarded. 